a lot of people seem to struggle to get started with testing. I hope to show how easy it is to get started when using Livewire. In this video, we will take a look at how we can test a Livewire component. To do so, we will create a podcast component and the required Laravel files to support it. To keep the focus on testing, we will only be concerned with the Livewire PHP class and ignore the view for now. Let's get started. Before we start writing our test, we will need to set up our domain. We will keep the domain as simple as possible. The domain will be a podcast that can be published. Let's create the podcast model, factory, and migration. Okay, let's add the required fields to the migration. Let's give it a name. And let's give it a field to manage the state of the podcast. A Boolean published. With that out of the way, we can now generate our LiveWire component. Let's call it podcast form. And let's create a test as well. There's one more thing we want to do before we start testing, and that's setting up our factory. So let's go to the podcast factory. And let's give published a default value of false. Now we have our domain set up, we can start writing some code and some tests. For the purposes of testing our live wire component, we will give it a few different ways to publish a podcast. The first way will be to use our model. We will write our tests more or less TDD, meaning we first write a failing test and then write the code to make it pass. Let's head over to the test. Podcast form test, there it is. Let's give the test a better description. A user can publish a podcast, and we don't need that. Let's try to set the podcast to published. Podcast published, and let's assert that it was in fact published. Okay, let's run the test. And see it fail. The first error we encounter is that the podcast form component does not actually have any property podcast. So let's give it one. Public, let's type into it, podcast. We run the test. The next error is the type property podcast form must not be accessed before initialization. What this means is that we are trying to set a property on podcast, but podcast is in fact null at this moment on the podcast form. To solve this error, we need to mount the podcast. So let's add it. Here, let's use our factory, podcast factory, create, that should solve this error. We run the test, and now we get an error about the table missing. So let's add refresh database, we run the test. The next error we encounter is about missing validation rules. This error may not make a lot of sense if you are getting started with Livewire. What you have to know is that for security reasons, Livewire does not allow you to wire a model to a public property that is a model without having any rules. So to make this test pass, we need to do one more thing. Let's add a rules method and return some validation for the podcast. 
podcasts published is required. We run the test. And now it's passing. Let's try publishing our podcast in a different way by calling a method. So again, we'll first write a fake and test. A user can publish a podcast by clicking a button. We'll just basically copy the tests and instead of setting publish to true, we'll call a method call published. Let's run the test. Which should fail because we don't actually have any method published on our component. We go unable to call components method public method published not found a component so let's add it public function published this podcast published is true let's rerun the test and now it's passing the last scenario we will look at is publishing the podcast by listening to an event. So imagine that there is another live wire component that the user interacts with, and that component emits an event when a user tries to publish a podcast. We'll start by writing a failing test again. So let's create another test. Another component emitted this event and not that this component emitted this event. So that's good to know. Uh, let's change this to podcast published and let's run the test. The test fails because we don't actually have any listener for this event. So let's add listener. There go, we run the test. And now it's complaining that we are missing a method. What you have to know is that when you define a listener, the default, default behavior of LiveWire is to trigger a method with the same name. So let's add a podcast published method. Rerun our test. And now it failed because the podcast was not set to published because we didn't write any code for that. Let's add that code. Podcast published is true. Let's rerun a test, and now it passes. And in fact, we could have just done this, this publish, published, because we already had that method from a previous test. Should still work. And something else that's nice to know, if you want the name of the listener to be different than the name of the method, you can just use a different syntax. For example, we could pass the podcast published event straight to the publish method. So that will make even more sense. Should still pass. And it fails because it's called published. We run the test and now it's passing. So far, the published state isn't actually saved to the database. So let's rewrite our test and our code to make it persist. 
test. Let's start off by adding an assertion, which is just a regular Laravel assertion. Assert database has podcasts. And then it would be nice to have the ID and assert that it's actually set to true in the database. Introduce variable podcasts. We'll just save that in a temporary variable so we can use it in our assertion. Podcast ID. Let's rerun this test. Which should fail. There we go. Record was found in the database, but published was false in the database. So let's add some code to actually save it, which is actually fun here because we were just wire modeling it. Um, so one way would be to write a hook, updated podcast published, and then save the podcast whenever the published property of the podcast gets changed. And it passes. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Enjoy testing LiveWire.